Backup from storage snapshots is a feature that is managed in the Veeam backup and replication interface. It complements the vSphere snapshot technology and uses storage snaps as a source of data for backup and replication. As a result, the vSphere snapshot exists for a very short time. Delta files do not grow large, and the time of the snap commit decreases. Let's take a look at a demonstration. In this demonstration, I want to give you a general overview of how the backup from snapshot features work, why we use it, and the basic configuration of it in a backup job. Snapshots are seen in several places, either the VSS level, uh, the hypervisor level, or the storage level. And in our discussion during this demonstration, we'll be referring to VMware snapshots or hardware storage snapshots. First, let's look inside of a backup job so that I can show you the configuration for how this needs to be set up to integrate with the storage snapshots themselves. Right mouse click and go into edit. And then underneath storage, we're going to go into the advanced tab. Under this advanced tab and then integration, we need to make sure that this box is ticked right here, which says enable backup from storage snapshots. Without this being checked, all the functionality that we're looking for will not be usable whatsoever. Okay, so again, we want to go underneath storage and then go under advanced, underneath integration, and tick this box. Okay, so we'll cancel out of this. And then I also want to take you into the storage infrastructure so you can see this particular storage device is in fact integrated. And you can see some of the snapshots that have already been ran off of this as well. So we do have snapshot functionality there. Keep in mind that we integrate with many storage vendors, not just the one you're seeing within this demonstration. If you would like additional information about other specific storage vendors, you can find those demos underneath the Learn tab on Veeam.com in the how-to videos. Let's move back over to the Home tab. The primary benefit of using backup from storage snapshots is to avoid any potential VM stunning when VMware is committing its snapshots. Now let's think about that for a second. A, a stun operation means that we pause the execution of a VM at an instructional boundary and we allow any in-flight disk I.O. to be completed. That stun operation itself is not normally a, a time expensive thing typically only 100 milliseconds or so, but it could be longer if there's any sort of delay in the I.O. stack of that particular VM. Producing a snapshot or VM disk file requires that the VM be stunned, a snapshot of the VM file to be ingested, and deltas of the VM to be consolidated back into the base disk. So if you're snapping a highly transactional application like a database, there are nasty side effects that could appear in the form of lengthy backup windows and application timeouts when stun ingestion consolidation process is not effectively managed. We can't really see this process as jobs run, but I'm going to kick off a couple of backups and we'll talk through the process in the foreground. And we'll also kick this one off and get it to start as well. What Veeam does is it goes in and analyzes the VMs that the job hosts their disk on storage-wise. It triggers the vCenter server to create a VMware uh, vSphere snapshot for these VMs. Then it goes to get change block tracking information from those VMs that are hosted on the storage system. It sends instructions to the storage system to create snapshots of the storage volume or the LUN that the host VMs and vSphere snapshots reside on. After that, it tells vCenter to remove those VMware snapshots on the production storage system. Then those cloned VM vSphere snapshots, they remain on the created storage snapshot. Now, We'll go out and check the backup infrastructure to see if there's a backup proxy that has a direct connection to that storage system. Then Veeam will mount that storage snapshot as a new volume to the backup proxy. We go out and read the transport VM data blocks via the backup proxy to the backup repository uh, for incremental backups or replication. And then Veeam uses the chain change block tracking data to retrieve only the change data blocks from the storage snapshot. When the VM data process is finished, 
we unmount that storage snapshot from the backup proxy and instruct the storage system to remove the storage snapshots. Now that's the process that Veeam Backup and Replication follows to perform backups from snapshot operations. Now, as we walk through that, looks like we are successfully completed on both of those. So what I'd like to do now is look at the statistics between the two so you can see a job that has been done with no snapshots and we'll take a look at statistics here in our details. There are no snapshots here and you can see that it walks through the process of processing these actual VMs going through nothing specific or special is happening on them. The snaps happen in the background. Once this is all done, it cleans it up at the end. So we'll close this one out and let's look at one that we're using snapshots with. Let's look at the statistics here. Now you can see that almost instantaneously it creates a storage snapshot, meaning that that stun's being eliminated right now. We're instantly grabbing those and now we're starting the backup process. You can see we go down here, export those stored snapshots, we delete them, and then we go through and do our physical backup and finish up the job. Huge difference in how the two things are being done there, this cleanup process and the storage snapshots themselves being instantly created so that we're not giving any additional stun to those VMs themselves. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration. I know it's a lot of verbiage to take in, but it's the best way that I thought I could describe to you how the process happens and then show you these two detailed informational pieces of these two separate jobs to give you the information you're looking for. Keep in mind that we have additional videos underneath the Learn tab on Veeam.com under How-To Videos. Thank you so much for watching.